2018 is nearly done, leaving investors looking for new and profitable ways to invest their money in the new year. Our next guest thinks the final frontier is going to be one of the hottest places for investors to shoot for the stars as the billionaire space race heats up between SpaceX Elon Musk, Virgin Galactic's Sir Richard Branson, and Blue Origins Jeff Bezos, aka the Space Cowboys. My lassos in my purse. Our next guest is the CEO of Space Angels, a leading source of capital for early stage space and ventures. We welcome Chad Anderson to a Fox Business exclusive. Ch Th Chad, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. You're in Salt Lake, right? I am, yes, I'm yeah. happy to be here. Awesome. So let's go straight to the industry in the United States. I think it's fascinating that you have this really, really wealthy Japanese man that has spent money, and I don't know how much money he spent, to be sent, is it to Mars with uh, Elon Musk's uh, SpaceX? So what do you think of that? What do you think of the, the tourism industry within the U.S.? He's going to go around the moon. Is the, moon, is there you the, go, I was wrong, uh, sorry, moon. Is the trip that he's purchased, yeah, and so it's going to be a quick trip that goes um, around the far side of the moon and comes back, and uh, uh, this uh, wealthy Japanese man is planning to bring a, a load of, I think, six artists with him to come and experience and share with the world their experience. And so I think that this is a fantastic aspirational plan, but um, from a practical perspective, it's very important because it's helping uh, Musk to develop his starship, which is intended to take humans to the moon and Mars. But currently, right now, the United States is uh, very reliant on Russia's rockets to send U.S. astronauts all the way to, interna to the International Space Station. So how do we remove that reliance on Russia yeah. and focus on the investment within the United States in the private sector? Absolutely. So. Um, since the last seven to eight years, I think, it's, um, we have been wholly reliant, uh, the entire world has been wholly reliant on one launch vehicle, uh, the Russian Soyuz, to be able to take astronauts to the space station. Um, and so if you look back um, uh, eight years ago, it was $20 million to send a NASA astronaut to the space station. And today, uh, it costs somewhere around $80 million. Uh, but that's wholly dependent on what's happening um, politically, and so the price can fluctuate dramatically. And so this is obviously not a good situation to be in. Um, 2019 is going to be a really interesting year and a really important inflection point for the space economy, uh, notably because SpaceX and Boeing are both going to be taking uh, astronauts to the space station uh, on their commercial vehicles. Uh, SpaceX is going to start, they're going to launch an uncrewed um, uh, demonstration flight in January, and if all goes well, uh, they'll be launching uh, NASA astronauts to the space station in June, and Boeing will be following up uh, shortly thereafter in August. And so we're going to go from having one uh, vehicle to three vehicles, two of them being commercial. And that's really important because you know, for three reasons. One is the Russian uh, situation, which you uh, mentioned, and so price is key. Um, this also, this low price point also enables uh, commercial space stations, which are coming online in the next few years. And there's a really big push from uh, the National Space Council and the administration uh, to privatize low Earth orbit. And so that's really important. Chad, um, you're... The third piece is oh, the, yeah, is so the moon go ahead. To, yeah, it's the third piece is the moon to Mars piece. And so this administration has also shown a very keen interest and um, uh, the National Space Council made it their top priority to return uh, U.S. astronauts to the moon and then to Mars and this is going to help us do that. Given your company and the fact that it's Space Angels, you're investing uh, in smaller firms, right? So to give us yeah. some of the examples of some of the startups that you're looking at. Right, so um, in 2018, this time last year, we, we predicted that this was going to be the year of small launch. And um, uh, we've witnessed that come true this year with uh, the first small launch vehicles taking, uh, uh, addressing the demand for these small commercial entrepreneurial satellites uh, to reach orbit. So um, there is a number of, of applications and, and new smaller satellite constellations that are going up uh, into orbit. These are doing all kinds of things from uh, GPS uh, pre precision uh, positioning, navigation, and timing, uh, Earth observation, meaning gathering information about our planet, um, giving us updated images of our planet on, on uh, increasing time scales, um, targeting something like uh, an hour or 15 minutes, getting an updated image of every place on the planet, um, and also communications, obviously, right? So there's a lot of applications for these small satellites that these entrepreneurs are building, and we're investing across that okay. value chain. Yeah. 
No, well, that's uh, honestly, I think it's fascinating what you're doing right now. And there's clearly a lot of opportunities. So thank you so much for joining it and breaking it down, Chad. I really appreciate it.